In this video I'm going to show you how to test the volts coming into your spot pack and I'm going to test the element. Assuming that's 240 volts. How to test your volts coming into the spot pack. Okay, we tested volts. We have the white neutral, black, and then red. And we're going to turn our meter to volts. Make sure it's on AC. Okay, we're going to test red, black. Should be around 240. Go, we're going to go red, neutral, white. Should be 120. And we're going to go black, white. Should be 120. Testing the ohms on a hot tub heater element. Make sure the hot tub breaker is off. The spa pack we have here and the element is four kilowatts. Grab yourself a meter, turn it to ohms. For the four kilowatt heater element, it should be around 14 ohms. For a 5.5 kilowatt heater element, it should be around 10. How to test continuity on a hot tub heater element. And you want to turn your meter to where it will beep. You'll see the symbol right there. There we got our beep. So we're going to test for continuity. You can test it on either element 5.5 five or 4 kilowatt. Now if you got nothing on these leads, no beep or anything, then change the element. How to test volts on your hot tub heater element. So turn it to volts. Make sure the meter is on AC. Turn the breaker back on. This time it's going to be live, so you got to watch these two leads when you're touching them. You don't want to slip off. It's not like you want to you know, touch them and come across. Just, just be careful doing it. So for volts, if you have a system that's 240 volts coming into your spa pack, you should have 240 volts. Testing amps on a hot tub heater element. Now there's two ways you can test amps on a heater element. I'm just going to show you the one way, the best way anyway. You just use a multimeter with amps. As long as you can get to the two leads, then it works on most heater elements. If you can see the two leads on your element, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the power off, take one lead off, whatever ones you have. You can have this one here, or you can have this one here. Both ways, you do it the same way. So whatever way you disconnect the one lead, you got to make sure that this end is not touching anything. So for this dial here, I just hang it out of the way. So it's right there. Grab your meter, turn it to amps. You got to make sure when you turn it to amps and it's on AC, not DC. So make sure your amps, and if you have a multimeter, like I'll link a meter down below that I use. I use two different ones. Now you got to make sure the amps, it's going to be above 20. So it depends on which kilowatt you have. So it's going to change on amps. So the four kilowatts going to have a higher amp than the five, five kilowatts going to have a little bit lower amps. Turn the hot tub breaker back on and be very careful. It's going to be live. So you're going to put one end on the element and you're going to have one on the lead. So you're completing that circuit. If you have a four kilowatt heater element, you're going to have amps around 16 to 17. If you have a 5.5 kilowatt heater element, your amps are going to be between 22 and 23. The reason why I'm showing you how to test it like four different ways pretty much is because I can test ohms, I can test volts, I can test continuity, and then test amps, and I have no zero amps. So sometimes you'll get continuity through here. Like you could have a pinhole in the element and you still get continuity. Sometimes you'll get volts on your element, and then when you go to test amps, you'll have zero amps. So this is why I show everybody 
the test four different ways on a heater element. Because if you're unsure, like if you test the heater element volts and it's zero, then you're going to change the element. If you test ohms and you get zero, you're going to go and test the volts. You're going to test everything else to make sure, just to confirm that's what it is. Amps is the biggest thing for an element. You can test ohms, you can test volts, and then get zero amps, and it's the element. When I have to test an element, the very first thing I do is I'll test the volts, and then I'll go right to the amps. I don't test ohms, I don't test continuity. Now, if you test the amps, that's the 100%. If it's zero, change the element. Zero on the uh, volts, change the Fine. element. If you've tested everything and you can't figure out why it's not heating or maybe it's, you know, if it's tripping the breaker, that's one thing. Then you can narrow it down. But if it stays on, there's no heat. If you've tested everything and it's still still good, like if you have good amps, uh, good voltage, good continuity, good ohms, um, and it's either it's not heating up fast enough or it, um, it only heats up to a certain temperature, um, you could check. You can pull out the heater element and check to see if it's coated with uh, calcium. That will cause an issue sometimes, but normally you'll get an error code because the sensors will be covered also. And like I said, you'll get an error code normally. You know, it's a possibility that it could be a board issue when you test everything and you still can't figure it out. If you have any questions, just comment below and uh, we'll see if we can work it out for you.